Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. That's my one for the year. What? One for the year. One for the year. Yeah, talking about retirements. Uh, well, we've had talking about <laughs> retirements. You having to put up with this <laughs> dingy <laughs> little studio today. It's Taylor Walcott. I don't care who it is. I don't care who you know, retires. Halfway through the major right. league soccer season. I'm done. I'm so one and Kim. done. I've done it. My boss can't say he didn't do it. I say, I've done it. I've done my one for the year. And then there's the other one. People being surprised that Messi's doing well for Inter Miami. And you're still happy. You're yeah. still not that annoyed right now at this yeah. stage in the show, you. What do you mean this stage in the show? There's a few things that could have annoyed you through the last hour. And uh, what, like? <laughs> we've still got you in a good mood. It's actually, no, actually, I'm finding this chair. I mean, I started the show with the jacket buttoned up, sitting back, two buttons, and then I thought... <laughs> and I've gradually just sort of morphed into this studio. Stevie was happy with the chairs yesterday, to be fair. Much comfier, he said. Yeah, he said, but how did... How did when how did he, how did Stevie cope without his belly hitting? I'm him? not. I'm moving on. I'm, that came up yesterday, and he said there's no way you would have said anything like that about him. <laughs> I mean, did he did he like? And I acted dumb and said nothing. Did he like squeeze it under the desk like that, or was it like? <laughs> body shaming like Stevie. Classical. No need yeah, for that. Serious, all right, for all over or under, 45.5 or 45 slash five goals and assists for Kane in all comps this season. Uh, goals and assists. Is that goal contributions then? For all, over and under, 45 goals plus assists. Okay, goal contributions, 45 and a half. Wrong. Over. Over? Over. Yeah. All right. Definitely over. Yeah. They're going to play Nadem. like 60 games, aren't they? So yeah, over. Shaka? I'm going to need them. Over. I'm going to need them. Goal contributions, over. Yeah. Over. <laughs> Over and out. Oh. Next question. Will Haaland break his goal record from last season now that De Bruyne is out for was four it, months? Was it 52? Yeah, if it's in all competitions. It is all competitions. I never get this. Yeah. I never get this when people say, well, it's Premier I don't... You know when a player plays? Do you know when a player plays and he scores goals? Not that I scored. I scored a few. Uh, at the end of the season, you count how many goals you scored. You don't count what competitions you scored them in. OK. You count your goals. Goals are goals. So 52 goals. 52 is incredible because he plays in all these other competitions and the goals still count. It's not just the Premier League. And Jimmy Greaves is the top scorer in the Premier League. It's not Alan Shearer. Not the Premier League. English Division 1. Can't stand this. We're getting you more in. You won't get more than... No, I think he'll be under. under. That was an amazing achievement <laughs> last year. Okay. I think he'll be... What's the question? I think he'll be slightly... I think he'll... I think he won't get to 50. Shaka. Mm. Agreed. Under. Still amazing, though. And yeah, obviously. Nadem? Yeah, I think under, but I don't think it's necessarily because De Bruyne's out. I just think it's because 52 goals in a season was ridiculous, and to expect him to do it every single year, again, also feels a little bit ridiculous. OK. Yeah. We're just laughing because we almost we almost got you a little bit at your breaking point there. What, what do you want to I won't mention all competitions again. <laughs> <laughs> Who finishes with more goals in all competitions this season? <laughs> Rashford or Saka? <laughs> Ooh. What? Who finishes with more goals this season, Rashford or Saka? Oh. Uh, mm. I'm going to say uh, Marcus Rashford. Okay. I think Saka will have a lot of. Although he scored a great goal match day one, uh, I think he'll be more in the assist category. I'm going to go for Rashford. Nadem? I'm going to go for Saka. I think he will have a better season. I think what Rashford did last year, I don't think he'll do it again. And I think Arsenal score more than United, so I'm going Saka. Shaka? Shaka. Shaka? I'm going to go Rash Rashford to score more goals, Saka to have a better season. All right. For Craig, how do you What's think... The question? Why has he always got to be smart, Shaka? Because <laughs> he is he's smart. He's sat at home. <laughs> <laughs> He sat at home, he's absolutely, he's absolutely <laughs> bored out his tree. No, no. Set, bored out his tree. And we miss him here as well. Sorry? We miss him here. No, you've gone too far. Ah, uh, oh, we, we do, Shaka. No, I, I must admit, we do miss him here. You're, da you're damn right we miss him here. <laughs> you're, you are, that's the truest thing you've said today. <laughs> We damn well miss him here. <laughs> now, is there any chance? <laughs> Oh, Have you got a day off? <laughs> <laughs> Is there any chance of that man coming to Bristol? Look, 
<laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Breaking news, retirement. Ronaldinho. <laughs> 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 do the show again. Do the show again. Do the show again. Do the whole show from the top. From the top. But don't no joke about that because that's happened. Our boss, one time, our boss, right? He's not watching. I know he's not watching. He is watching. He watching. never misses a minute. He does. He does. That, that's a lie. <laughs> he's literally just texted our producer. <laughs> no, 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 that's a lie. That's a lie. He's, he's shopping. And the producer here, he'll cut, he'll cut this. We had to talk once. He said, one of the shows years ago, he went, I came in and they went, I said, what's this? Balotelli's birthday. He said, we've got to talk about it. It was Balotelli's birthday. It came from the top. That's where it came from. The top. That's the top. <laughs> <laughs> the grand high master. So I know where that Theo oh. Walcott thing came from today. Right, straight from the top. Straight from the top. And the producer, he was like, nah, I don't really want to run it in because he's going to lose his marbles, <laughs> but I don't want to lose my job, so I'm going to run it in anyway and take a chance. <laughs> so I'm waffling now. And I'm, Come on, let's go. He is watching. Sacked. Yeah. Sacked. I knew he'd be watching. He'll need, if I get sacked, he'll need to come in. <laughs> Bill, I'll go and pick him up. For Craig, how do you think Ward Prowse will do at West Ham, even if Pakatar leaves? Sorry? Pakatar's getting... He's allegedly... Yeah, but, been, so how do you think Ward Prowse will do at West Ham? I think Ward Prowse will do... Uh, I think he'll do great at West Ham. I think he's a really tidy player. Very experienced. Set pieces. You could argue the best set piece. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Specialist. Specialist. Taker. Arch best set piece guy in the country, you could argue. What you like, guys? I feel like you went for the, <laughs> the most rubbish option in the end. <laughs> the best set piece guy. No, no, the no. best lad who scores set pieces. I I Whatever I mean. Well, I was racking my brains and I realised there wasn't a lot of them. Uh, yeah, so I think he'll do. I think <laughs> I, I think he'll, he'll do great. The package is a really interesting one. I'm not going to get into it because there's a potential probe, but it's just raised its head. Which, is, which I think has scuppered the City move as well. Uh, but yeah, I've always liked Ward Prowse. And you know, he's been a great stalwart for Southampton, but they've gone now. And uh, yeah, I think he'll do well for David Moyes. Shaka, if you could only have one player in your team out of Sandro Tonali, Bruno G or Joel Linton, who would you pick and why? Uh, Bruno Gamares. Bruno, Bruno Gamares has been outstanding since, since his arrival. And, 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 and that is in no way kind of discrediting the player that Joe Linton has, has, has turned into. I, I, I love Joe Linton. And well, we've seen we've seen what Tanali can do, albeit for, for, for 90 minutes. But Bruno Gamares, I, I mean, he has been simply outstanding for, for the last two or three seasons. He, he's, that's a, an easy pick for me. Just while we're here, did anybody see that the Newcastle lads had a bit of a joke with Tanali? He asked them where he should go for dinner, and they sent him to Weatherspoons, so he got a reservation. Got a reservation <laughs> at Weatherspoons, and uh, which is a very cheap and cheerful pub chain very. in England. Very cheap and cheerful, and that's why they sent Tanali. Well, not that the Italians like the food or anything; they're all a little fussy. <laughs> he looked happy enough in the pictures, anyway. But it really did, did make me giggle. Tell, tell me, he went for the uh, all-day breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something with gravy. Uh, yesterday, the guys shared some advice managers gave them that had stuck with them. What advice did older players or veterans give the guys that they still remember and would give to young players just breaking through today? Anything that stands out to you, Nadem? Um, I think it's just a big thing, to, in my opinion, to just be asking questions and try and figure out what the manager or coaches really want from you. Because I think some people come in and they think they're doing well, but they're actually doing the opposite. So I think as quick, as soon as you can learn your craft, the better I think your career can be. Because some people don't figure out until it's too late. So I'd probably say that. Make sure you ask the question, ask questions of people that have been there, done that, and are there to try and make you a better player. Did anyone put their arm around you, Nadem, that, that stands out during your playing career? Um, Sean Wright Phillips, actually. Yeah, he was the he was the main guy when I was coming through from the academy. As was the case with many other people. Sean was the pinup boy at Man City at the time. And when you came in to train with him, he made sure that you were looked after. It was him, it was Richard Dunn, Sylvan Distan. They were great with young players. And at the time for City, there was no money to be buying anyone. So the academy was very, very important. So the fact that they made us all feel welcome and helped us integrate into the side 
And if it wasn't for that, myself, Michael Richards, Stephen Allen, loads of other players, we probably wouldn't have been able to play in that team because, you know, back around the early 2000s, as, as I'm sure the guys will say, could get pretty hostile as a young player in an older dressing room. Stevie Clark, the current Scotland manager, was a, was a much more experienced and older player than me when I first got in the Chelsea side and I played on the, the right side of a diamond and Stevie was uh, the right back, a very good right back. And he was pretty good, but he could be... He could be pretty scathing as well. You know, one of the days I didn't have a particularly good game and his way of putting an arm around me was he told me to go home, shut the curtains, take a couple of paracetamol, go to bed and forget about it. <laughs> that was his... Which I suppose in some ways, like, you know, telling you that... It's a nicer way of telling you. You know, there's a different way of doing it. But I think as you become a more experienced player, it is incumbent for you to look for less confident youngsters and I, I remember one scenario I think I've talked about it before on the show we were playing for Scotland in Dublin against the Republic of Ireland it was an end of season friendly and most of us experienced players really just couldn't give a hoot to be quite frank with you but we we're playing at Lansdowne Road and young Gary Nesmith who was the left back at the time for Everton previously with Hearts he might have been at Hearts at the time, I can't remember, but he went on to play for Everton, was making his Scotland debut. Now, for all us guys, the end of season game was like a waste of space. But for him, this was a huge deal. And I remember going out for the warm-up, came back in, the old Lansdowne Road, uh, it's now the Aviva, the dressing room was quite small. And I remember looking over to him, we were about seven or eight minutes left uh, to, to the kickoff, and he was sat in the corner like, and I could just tell, so I, I went over and I just sat next to him and I says, what? I said, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely so nervous. He said, I can't, I'm beside myself, playing for my country. And I said, look, I said, you're a good player, clearly. You're in it. I said, just listen to, me, listen to this. I said, just keep it simple for the first 15, 20 minutes. Just do everything simple. Don't try anything spectacular. Just do what you normally do. Just get it, play it five yards, play it 10 yards get your confidence and he was like and years later he he, he uh, come up to me or he said in an interview he said well yeah for all the horrible things Burley has done he come, he was one of the guys that came <laughs> over to me before his debut because I realized you know I'd play you know we've all been youngsters playing either for a club or for your country I remember when I went into the national team when I was 22 23 oh my god I sat in the corner like just with my head in my hands, wanted to go home, you know, before the game. So, you know, you've got to remember how you felt. You should never forget how you felt as a kid when all these experienced players, and I remember looking over at him and thinking, he's not in a good place. So he just gave him that advice, and he went on to have, not because of that, but he went on to play for Scotland, I don't know how many times, and he was a very good player. But he was a youngster that just needed a little sort of arm around them before a kickoff. And that's the only good deed I've ever done in life. Oh, I have to be honest with you. Of Craig, <laughs> my one good they? deed, Nedham. I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> what, that's more done. than enough. It's more than many. It's more than many. Uh, yeah. See, and people say, like, Budley's horrible. No. He's horrible. It's He's not horrible. True, is it? But see, there's a softest, there's that side. Yep, soft centre. Shaka, what about you? Um, I, 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 it's not so much what anybody said to me, but as I kind of came through the, the different the different levels, you know, I, I started in, in what is now League One and then the Championship and Premier League. With, with each league you go up, you, you realise that the, the more successful and particularly more more experienced players, they, they, they spend more time out on the training ground. As, as you go up, they spend more and more time after training, working on, on whatever it is they, they you know, it, it may be. And that becomes, uh, certainly has to become one of your habits if, if you want to, if you want to have a, a, a lengthy career in, in, in the game. I also always remember um, my first away win. I'm trying to remember who it was. Phil Parkinson, who just signed for Reading, um, at the same time as me, coming and saying that there's nothing in football like winning away from home. That journey back is, is, is a special time, and I always. I always remember that every time I've, I've won away from home, Parky's saying that to me. Oh, that's yeah, a nice shocks. one. Shocks. Nobody puts their arm around the goalie. <laughs> Point. <laughs> Point. This is stupid. Got two questions to end off for Shaka here. 
Hey, Shaka. Oh, please, answer's a bit shorter. <laughs> We're past Thursday. Where are last week's rankings? Those background <laughs> equations <laughs> aren't for nothing, rankings right? Rankings to say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I start my rankings after game four of every season. You've got a computer at home, haven't you? But Put your I algorithm. need data. I need data for the algorithm to work, and it, I need to have four games worth of data. Otherwise, but you've, you, you've, it you've usually you've work. usually got Hang minions running around. He's just around. bought himself a few more weeks there, even by throwing out the number four. <laughs> I'm telling you now. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm, I'm telling. I'm telling you now. We'll see Santa before we see him. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. <laughs> How's the Shaw Shack redemption coming along, Shack? <laughs> Listen, Dad, Dad sent me that hashtag a couple of days ago, and I, I only just stopped laughing. It's um, it's coming along. I'm I'm making slow but steady progress. I, we've decided on what poster I need to get to put up on, in my cell to make sure nobody knows I'm tunneling my way out of here. We've decided yeah, that you, we, we want you to put the poster up of that goalkeeper that never talked to you. <laughs> Postman. Costas <laughs> Chalkias, the Greek goalkeeper who came yeah. to Pompey. <laughs> Nobody will look behind that poster, I guarantee it. I'm, I'm Bit safe. of a difference between safe. Rita Hayworth and him. <laughs> What was the guy's name in Shawshank? <laughs> what was the guy's name? I was thinking about this today when Andy. I was driving in. Yeah? Was it Andy? Andy Dufresne. Andy Dufresne, Dufresne. Dufresne. yeah. Andy Dufresne, there he is. I Bo think they would expect if it was that keeper. <laughs> Massachusetts' own Andy Dufresne, there he is. <laughs> Turning away at his house with a poster up in the bedroom. I bet the algorithm can't do that for you. Uh. That, that's right. Uh, algorithm is no good at, at tunneling. Uh, Listen, no Shaq, if we if we've got a big a, a big retirement announcement again, would you come in for that? You know, big one like that. <laughs> it might be mine. This <laughs> 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 rate. <laughs> no, come back, Shaq. We miss you. We miss you. All right, that's all we've got time I'll tell you for. What, he, looks like he's, he sounds like he's having a great time, doesn't he? I bet he is. He's got his feet up. He's got his slippers on. His pajama buttons. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow from the studio, no doubt. Shaq won't. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.